Hello everyone and welcome to this Python for Automation Testing series. In this tutorial, we will be learning about method overriding. So let's begin. In our previous tutorial, we learned that what is method overloading, where we have a different methods with the same name, but they're with the different set of the parameters. Now, what is method overriding? So method overriding occurs when a subclass or the child class defines a method with the same name as a method in a superclass. So basically, a subclass or the child class defines a method, defines a method with same name as a method in super or the parent class. Okay. And when we talk about the method overriding, overriding so basically the subclass method overrides or replaces the superclass method when called on a instance of the subclass. So basically the subclass subclass method overrides or replaces the superclass method when called on an instance of the subclass okay so it sounds uh, maybe a bit difficult to understand but let me give you an example over here so for example we have a class parent or the super class okay and inside this class we have a method to write a test case or maybe take an example of okay uh, write test case right test case and this is the method okay and now in the another class which is sub class okay inside this we have the same method same method but with the different implementation different implementation okay and here we have for example implemented let's go with a simple print here it says i am in class parent so this is the implementation in the parent class whereas let's suppose i will go here and let's go with simple print statement to understand this one i am in the subclass so this is a concept of method overriding now let's uh, take an example so let me go to the pycharm over here and let me create one new python file and i will name it as method overriding and let's create a class test case so i'm creating a class naming it as test case and now i'm defining a method which will just run the test cases or maybe run all the test cases okay so here i will be giving a very simple implementation so i will say running uh, maybe generic test cases now this is our parent class now let's create a sub class or a child class and this child class will execute a specific test case for example login test case okay so login test and here what i will do is, is that i will pass this class basically we are doing an inheritance over here so now I will be using the same method but with the different implementation. So I will say run underscore test and here my implementation will be overrided and I will say this particular uh, method will say running login test case. Yeah, so this is a very simple implementation and understanding 
of method overriding so same method with their different implementation so one is in the parent class and others in the subclass now once we have created the class so let's go here and create the instances of the test case and the login test okay so basically so i will say gen underscore test equals to test case because it will run the generic test case and then log underscore test is equals to login test okay and now i will be calling the same run method so you will see that if i go with this one and i and i would run test so so let's see what it will do so it will print that running a generic test case now let's see what happens if i go with login test underscore run test and if i run this one now you will see that running a login test case so basically what we did is that we have created the two classes we have a same method but we are doing a method overriding over here that's why when we are calling these methods we are getting the overrided response okay so the basically the key points to remember here is that method overriding lets you define a specific implementations in the subclass without changing the superclass or the parent class python automatically calls the overridden method based on the instance type you see that based on the instance type it automatically calls right it automatically calls the method overridden method so it provides basically a flexibility in object behavior and the third thing you need to remember is that overriding is essential in designing the classes that share the similar functionality but need to cater a unique subclass specific requirements okay so this is all about the method overriding Thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial